welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video thank you for sharing commenting subscribing yo i'm at 82 subscribers by the time this video is filmed almost at my first hundred so thank you so much for all of you supporting me and sharing with your friends and all that good stuff new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon so you know when i post i post every week on sundays sometimes twice a week but i can't make any promises on the twice a week today's video is much needed i want to try something different as i said in my last video and today i'm actually going to be cleaning out my closet and talking about different things clean out my closet and chit chat and i'm gonna talk about some manifestation stuff and we're just gonna let the conversation flow my cousin karma might be joining us via facetime so i'm really excited to get her in the conversation and try something different and also get my closet together because y'all what i'm about to show you is not safe for work not safe for children oh so here is my closet y'all this is just a damn shame. I don't want to go into March, which is my birthday month, Aries season, all of that with this drama. Retrograde has been kicking my whole ass. It started today, but if you know much about retrogrades, you know you get the effects and everything beforehand. And y'all, I've been tired. I've been drained. I've been having weird, crazy dreams and just ugh, wanting to clean everything. And today's that day this is that kind of video before we get started i really need some water i'm not gonna lie to you i'm so dehydrated my throat could probably start a fire if i started coughing all right so i tried to clean my closet or clean out my things before a new season underline try because i'm not super consistent with it retrograde makes you feel like you have to clean so i was really pushed to do this we're just gonna go through my closet i don't even know where to start so let's just, we're just gonna get into it. Let me get my iPad. So usually I like to have some little, I don't know, can I play other people's YouTube videos while I'm doing this? Because that's what I usually do. I don't think I can just to be safe. My closet is just to the point, I don't even know where half of these clothes have come from. I can't even move, spread the closet open. It's so much stuff in here and it just ain't right but this dress though i'm definitely keeping this i usually like to take my stuff to goodwill when i'm just over it actually there's this consignment store in my hometown panama city shout out to pcd 850 lynn haven i took my stuff to this consignment store called cindy shout out to her um she's also one of my mom's friends and I actually made money if you don't know much about consignment stores look into one and you're local in your city and see if you have one because it's the original depop so you basically just take the clothes there you get like an account set up and then as your clothes sell you accumulate money and you can just get the check or whatever but yeah so i always forget that i have money there passive income it's a form of passive passive income not consistent i wouldn't recommend that being your main form of income but because you don't know what's going to sell <clears throat> but if you ever have clothes and stuff that are actually like decent clothes, I'm not getting rid of this, but something like this, that's like still in good condition and something that people will wear, not something that has holes and stuff. Don't take that, take that to Goodwill or throw it in the trash or give it to somebody. But um, things that are actually in good condition and you don't feel like doing Depop, that's what I've tried doing Depop, Poshmark, all that. I just did not, I was not in the mood for it. I just didn't feel like doing that. Cause that's a whole nother job. Some people make, I want to actually do. Hold on, turn this on. Cause if I'm getting murdered, y'all have the evidence. So I don't know, I think I'm fine. Anyway, yeah. So I want to actually make sure it looks good. And it's part of your brand. When you're selling things, you want to make sure it's your name's on it. So he's about to get in trouble. So yeah, it just was not, it was not my thing. But anyway, consignment stores, look into consignment stores in your city. This could be another form of some income. That's it, just cleaning out the closet. I don't really even know. Suki, oh my gosh, you guys. Who has a cat that watches my videos? Because I have a cat, obviously the one that I'm always talking to, Suki. And I have not really talked about her story, but basically I was moving and 
I love animals. That's the first part of the story. I've always loved animals. I've never had a cat. I'm more of a dog person. And my mom's co-worker's niece or something like that, I think it was her niece or her daughter, <clears throat> was moving and couldn't take her cat with her. And my mom sent me a picture of Suki and was like, want a cat? And I was like, um, not really, because I'm moving. Like, I was excited to just have my own thing, not have any responsibilities outside of myself and my home and my those types of things. And um, I said no, but then she kept asking me and I was like, look, if she doesn't find a home, I don't want, I don't want her to go to the pound, so I'll take her. And obviously she did not find a home. So I took her and you know, it's a learning experience. I didn't realize cats were that, or this cat. I don't know, y'all tell me, are cats actually high maintenance? She's running all over my apartment and if they call the, if they complain, I'm about to have a freaking fit. Like actually, cause I'm, she does this like she does not just sit still if she's quiet something she's doing something that she has no business doing um i don't know i don't know much about cats i just know about dogs so y'all tell me tips to make your cat less crazy basically is what i'm asking for it's exhausting <laughs> it is exhausting do you see me exhausting so just let me know some people are like oh if you don't wear it in the last year get rid of it which is probably true but i never followed that rule because i sometimes I have so many things that I end up just pulling and piecing together. I have not gone actually shopping, shopping full wardrobe in years. And people are like, where'd you get that girl? And there'll be stuff that I've had forever. So call me a hoarder or whatever, it won't hurt my feelings. This is the y'all sweater. I actually made this y'all, it's from, um, this is an OG thing when I was running Peach and Venom. It's one of my Christmas sweaters that I designed. Peach and Venom was my online boutique or store. It was more of a store. It wasn't really a boutique because it sold. It was just stuff that I designed. I don't know. Is that a difference? So the goal here is to get at least half of my closet done or half of the hanging clothes and then go into drawers and stuff like over the weekend because this weekend I just want to get myself together. But yeah, I'm just going to color code everything and just get it organize and get rid of stuff that I'm not wearing or don't plan to wear see what's going to Goodwill and what's going to a consignment store and then that's it that's it here's another one from Peach and Venom happy holidays or whatever someone asked me to bring these back and okay. I've been looking for this scarf Ooh. I said I was going to talk about manifestation so I actually did a car talk on this, but as I said, I'm trying different things and I'll probably still post a car talk, but this will be a supplement manifestation. So I'm gonna start with like the basics of manifesting and then we'll go into more specifics because a lot of people wanna know about how to manifest a boo, money, and a body that's the three main things that a lot of people talk about which obviously that's not the only thing you can manifest but that's the three if you go on youtube google whatever that's what you're going to see basics of manifestation for me i used to stress out about manifestation and like am i how do i detach from it how do i do this and that what am oh my god oh my god and then eventually it's now i finally got to the point where it's easy it's so effortless for me now because i don't put so much pressure on it so number one manifestation the first thing you need to do get a pen and paper and this is actually number one <laughs> number one is make or get clear on what you want so what is it that you want to manifest into your life and be specific so if you want a new relationship what does that look like what does that person make you feel? That's the main thing. How do you feel with that person? How do they treat you? How are you? What do y'all do together? Um, don't go so specific as I don't. This I don't like to do this. I don't like to put a time on it and I want to meet this person tomorrow or whatever. Because when I do that, I am not able to detach from it. And that's something I'm going to go into. Detachment is the most important step of manifestation. But yeah, don't put a time on it. That's my advice. Just because if you put a time, you're gonna be wondering and if 
it don't happen when it happens when you want it to happen it's just you're gonna lose your faith and not think it's gonna happen if you are kind of on the fence let's be real here you might think oh manifestation does not work for me and i can't do it and that's not true everybody can do it <laughs> this is my whole new year's outfit this is i have not cleaned my closet because i still have the outfit together so my first step is figure out what it is that you want <clears throat> um that's why people make vision boards and things like that so they can see it my advice to you is to make a list of what you want and the question is can you manifest multiple things at once yes hell yes you can all that whatever you do how much you manifest whatever does not matter the key is detaching and i'll go into that but yes you can manifest more than one thing at once that's my belief i've done it and um make a list of everything that you're ooh, that you're wanting if you're writing things i want to manifest number one love and then write specifics underneath that number two health and write specifics under that is it a losing weight a certain amount of weight is it getting less inky inky achy joints something like that number three money and this will probably be another conversation but i don't ever believe or now i don't believe that people just want money when you're manifesting money you don't actually just want money you want freedom you want the feeling that money gives you that's what it all is about the feeling so you want love what is the feeling you want companionship you want someone to make you feel this and that it ain't just it y'all get what i'm saying i go sometimes write down a list and then i what do i do after that see it's so i don't really put too much into it i write a list oh and then i either do like a vision board or um, that kind of thing. Some I, I do a lot of different things. I do vision boards and then I even make playlists, y'all, like manifestation playlists to so like songs. I have one for love and it's like all these different love songs about I don't know, just how I wanna feel. I have I have a strong belief in having a relationship that feels like nineties R and B. So that's mostly what I listen to anyway, but I have like my favorite song, the song that makes me just like woo that's my boo is you oh no that's not what it's called oh my god what's it called see i don't even remember the song i just know the words oh i belong to you by rome y'all i love that song and there's a there's a few there's a lot of my favorite r&b songs that make me feel like that's the kind of relationship i want music is a great way to manifest because you're really putting your heart into it when you're singing certain songs you're putting your heart and soul into it and you're manifesting i don't know but you manifest what's the song lizzo um truth hurts i love that song but i don't really listen to it because i don't want to put that energy out there you know I, I love her i love the song but it's just like why men great until they gotta be great and i'm gonna keep manifesting i feel like i'm gonna keep manifesting like nasty ass men I make a vision board playlist and I can do a video on that if you guys want, but I don't want to make this a lot of information at once. Or I meditate on it or I do a visualization meditation. Those are fun. I love doing those. And I don't want to make this as dumbed down as it sounds, but it really is this simple. And then the third thing I do is, no, 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 no. hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm skipping a part. See? third thing I do is just practice gratitude so I wake up thank God for the day everything just be grateful be grateful for what you have now don't put too much weight on what you're manifesting then the fourth thing I do is detach from it and when I say detach from it don't think about it just leave it alone I found the things look at down below if you keep seeing me look down the things that I'm just like really wanting are hard for me to detach from and I'm practicing that really detached from it i like to script write in my journal what i want and then that makes it easy for me to detach from it i've always liked journaling because i put it on paper and it's like gone i don't have it anymore so detaching that's the key to manifestation is detaching you're so grateful for what you have now you're not sitting here thinking about detaching i wouldn't say watch a bunch of videos on detaching that's my opinion because you're 
still attached to it if you're trying to see how to detach from it. So just, just forget about it. Have fun. Do your thing. Enjoy your life. And it'll come quick. I've had things come quick. For instance, I'll probably talk about this in a different video. I actually just manifested my first person ever. I was on the phone with a friend and we were like about to go out. And I was like, you know what? I want to meet a man that I said looks like Drake. We have like a 90s R&B kind of meeting, like very, you know when you meet someone and it's just, I'm smiling thinking about meeting this person because it's just like magical and just cute and oh, so cute. So we have like a cute meeting and they have tattoos and they have a little swag to them and they're respectful. I remember saying that and I said, I, want, I already said this, but I want them to look like Drake. This person didn't look like Drake, but they had all the qualities. And I was like, oh my God, like I met them. And it was the way I met them. It was just like, it was meant to happen because I typically don't go where I met this person. And they also don't typically go where I met them. So it was like, I'll do a video on manifesting a person. Just make it light. Don't put too much energy in it. Um, do what feels the most natural to you and the most fun. It's, manifestation is fun at the end of the day. I see so many videos and people are like, oh my gosh, blah, 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 like do this and that. And then it's like that defeats the whole purpose because when you're making it such a stressful thing for yourself, it's not going to come because you're putting so much pressure on it. I tried doing the two cup method, y'all, from Sparkle Marie. And I love her. I'm not, this is not a dig at her in any, in any way. It's just, this was not my thing. But I tried to do it because she said it worked for her. And that was the first mistake because it worked for her because it's natural for her to do that. And I was putting so much pressure on it because I did this whole thing that I don't typically do. Look, you look it up, two cup method, Sparkle Marie. And obviously whatever I was asking for didn't come because I was just sitting here thinking about it. So do what feels natural. If it's journaling, if it's talking about it, if it's listening to music, if it's just thinking about it, five minutes before bed visualize whatever it is that you want that's one way to do it too a lot of millionaires and billionaires do that notice that i've done certain things i'm not specific enough so for instance if you're manifesting i want a thousand dollars say i want a thousand dollars in my checking account i've said i want a hundred dollars and got like a hundred dollars in google ad credit so be specific that's that's the point don't be so specific about how it comes like oh i want to receive $500 in, a, in the lotto check. Which some people, you can do that, but that's, this is what works for me. I don't do that because you're probably blocking other ways that $500 could come. You never know, you never know what can happen. You never know what God has planned for your life, but don't block it. Don't be open to all possibilities. And as long as they don't harm people or anyone. I just, it's time for this to go. I've had this shirt forever, but honestly, it looks kind of cute with this hair. See, this is what happens. This is why I don't get rid of stuff. I might keep this because it'll be cute for tonight, I think. It's hard to match clothes with colored hair. If you wear purple hair, pink hair, you know what I mean. This is cute too, but it's like it's sexy. I wore this in Miami when I first went. So I keep it. It just reminds me of Miami. It's so cute. I have some little cat ears. I'll be an extra it's a little bodysuit from Forever 21. I get a lot of compliments on it, but you know, that's why my house is gonna have a huge, a huge ass closet. And then I have this black one too. I got both of them, both of them. But yeah, y'all, that's my that's my piece on manifestation. If y'all have any further questions, we can go into that or another thing. I'm making progress here. Pulling things from this side of my closet to here. The way I'm organizing it is things I want to keep and then things I'm kind of considering getting rid of, minus these two. So that's that's what I do, that's how I organize. And I like to change how things look. Even if it's slight changes, I like to make it, I like to make something different so I can just move on with my life. Usually I organize my closet by style of item so i'll do short sleeve tank tops work outfits but i don't go to an office anymore so i really don't need that section anymore and then i do jackets that kind of thing then i organize it from by color light to dark so i'll do the colors of the rainbow red yellow green blue yes i went to elementary school got elementary school 
education. Now I'm thinking I want to go from dark to light. So, you know, I don't know if y'all care too much about that. I'm, I guess if you're watching me organize my closet, you do, but I'm still trying to figure it out. But this is, this is my thought process when I'm doing things like this. This shirt, y'all, if you ever want tropical shirts for the summer, I love mixing glam with laid back. That's why I used to have this laid back glamour thing in my bio. And I've never been the best at describing my brand in that way. So I'm still working on that. But laid back glam meaning I love wearing things like this and wearing some dangly earrings and stuff like that. But if you ever want tropical shirts, y'all, do not be afraid to go to your local Goodwill to the men's section. I might actually wear this tonight because it actually goes with my pink hair. And wear some cute little bamboo earrings. This is, I'm definitely not getting rid of this, hello. But yeah, if you, for the summer, ladies, if you love tropical shirts and things like that, don't go to Forever 21, don't go to Fashion Nova. Love those stores, but you can get really unique ones from Goodwill. But yeah, I really think y'all might wear this tonight. Also, my phone was charging and I want to show y'all. <laughs> I can't get rid of this. I actually wear this shirt. <laughs> but I get so many people looking at me like, who that? It's Bieber, y'all. This is from his Purpose Tour. But what are y'all's organizing hacks? What do y'all do whenever you're organizing your closet? I would love to hear because I'm always, always trying to find new things. As you can see, I have some kind of system. It's not a super organized system, but... It's a system that had to be done. My closet was just, oh God. If you're ever feeling anxious, which I was this morning, clean, organize and clean. And it's something that happens in your mind that just makes it feel more clear. When your space is clear, you feel clear. My closet was making me anxious and you don't even realize it until your closet's actually cleaner. That's what was causing you to feel a certain way. So this shirt I got for a birth my birthday dinner a few years ago y'all it caught on fire i forgot how i can't remember how and i have a history of things catching on fire like my hair caught on fire one time from an incense and i'm pretty sure this is something from an incense or a candle and I, i'm keeping it like i love this shirt it's so cute especially for the beach y'all see i got it from forever 21 but i wear like a little bikini top under it's so cute <laughs> of course i can't get rid of it this is my problem um, where am I gonna put it? I'm gonna just put it here. Wait, no, no, no. I let, I want to keep this organized. And my cousin to join us. She might still, but she um, she's also well. I'm not also moving, but she's moving. This is no more parties in LA. I love this. I think I've worn it on Instagram a few times. And it's I love a old nasty sweatshirt. I got my Houston sweatshirt on. Woo! I have a Houston sweatshirt on. You know, I love stuff like that. All right, y'all, so we're calling Karma. Hello. Hi, are you, are you recording? Yes. Hi. This is my cousin. Y'all seen her. You already know what it is. Shout out your Instagram, girl. Karma Longlegs, C-A-R-M-E-H. Okay. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so we're talking about everything and just cleaning. Oh, shout out to Mr. Car Wash. This looks like a brand, a sponsored video, but it's not. But they did gift me with that along with a bunch of other stuff. So shout out to them. Right. My dad, why my dad just called me talking about you need to go wash your car? He's addicted to the front. And I was like, okay, okay, that's real. Like love bugs and stuff? Yeah. Oh, girl, let me tell you. He said, I don't care. You better yeah, get that wash it. Check. Wash it anyway. Because I got my car washed three weeks ago and it's just started getting dirty and it's been raining, raining, raining. Really? Yes. Thank you, you don't, get it washed. You don't want no dusty car. Wait, that ring's pretty. Where'd you get that from? This? Yeah. Girl, this is a $2 gold ring. It's the simple thing. That's cute. So what's your mood supposed to be? Girl, I can't even tell if I'm the winner right now. But I was thinking about getting my nails changed to the Oh my God, why was somebody, y'all, so me and Karma, we did not talk for 10 years, not because of beef, because we just disconnected. And we are like this, like our period be the same. Her period was heavy. Is that too much information? Her period was heavy. My period was heavy. And I, my period is heavy, but not really. So I was catching on her period. If she's upset, 
I text her, are you upset right now? And it's vice versa. Or if she's like in a good mood, I text her and she'll be in a good mood and I'm in a good mood. Like we're connected at the damn hip. When I was in Korea. In Korea. Cause I'll be in a good mood in Korea, y'all. Like across, and now that she's back in America, we are just like. But listen, somebody I was at the nail shop, and they were talking about the mood color nail polish. See? <laughs> Nasty, go classy, out, bring your bag. Jesus. Girl, you being, you you got a romantic life. I do. So we were talking about manifestation. Manifestation is real. It's real. So like. I was sharing how I manifest, like my process. Do you have a process for yours? I actually don't. I just say I want something and that's it. That's what I was saying. You just it's just detaching from it. I just say, oh, I want this and then like a couple weeks later I forget about it and I'm like, oh shoot, that's not what it is. I was saying too, like all it is is detaching from it for the most part. Knowing what you want and detaching from it. Exactly. Like, know what you want, and I just go about my business. Like, I say, oh, I want this, you know? It's there. I've done it. Like, it's come to me, and the opportunities come to me. And I'm oh, like, yeah. Oh, yep. Out. Sorry, Seven Rings. That's, listen to Seven Rings. I was telling him about how, like, music manifests. It's a way to manifest. Oh, I did not know that. Oh, yeah. If you're listening to music... Look, if you listen to music that's like angry, you about to be, man, you about to be pissed off. Period. That's how it is. Know what you want and detach from it. She got them yams. 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 Thick. Yams. Thick. Thick. Hey. <laughs> what can we talk about? I guess this is basically like an Instagram live. Come on, I think your Bluetooth is connected. I think your Bluetooth is connected. Y'all, so we were on Instagram live. And our other, well, she's my cousin, but she's uh, she's Karma's auntie. And she uh, <laughs> was moving Karma's car and the Bluetooth was on. And she was <laughs> Before they can wash some dishes. <laughs> oh, that's our. We didn't even introduce Destiny. I'm I think your Bluetooth is picking up. <laughs> Hello. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> She started talking on the live, y'all. She know. If y'all don't believe in ghosts, you sleep. Come stay the night at my grandma's house. Period. <laughs> Period. I don't know if you scared they want this the ones that want to scare you will come but if you just be like whatever because i had one grab my foot one time what? one of them grabbed my foot one time Girl, I, I would die. he but it was like a little oh, man. Man, man. closet is almost done it's already five o'clock i gotta start getting dressed soon so we're gonna just this is gonna be a two-parter I'll be prepared for the next one. Whatever y'all want to know, what to, want to talk about, we'll talk about it. I started talking about how I manifested a person. We ain't gonna say, but Facts. manifested the hell out of him. Don't be talking to people about it either. Like, no, just do it. Just do it. Be careful. Be careful out I here. Was just telling, just that he was like, yeah, I want to do that. I was like, don't tell me what you want to do. I'll sit back and watch. Just do it. Exactly, Nike. Just do it. You just gotta be careful, you know. Everybody ain't out there for you and exactly. talking about it and not having any action behind what you're saying is just pointless in my opinion because yep. 
the time and energy you're spending talking about it, you can be actually doing something. I can see if you're like, if you were putting something together and you're like damn near ready with it. Yeah, talk about it because it's almost done. Like you just talking about it because it's about to be out here. But don't be like, oh, I want to do this for like months. Don't be saying, oh, I want to, want to, want to. Just do it. Just let that between. Just do it. Let that be between you, you and God. Y'all remember saying, uh, I can show you better than I can tell you. You probably hear it right before you get in trouble. Period. You about to get your ass whooped. Period. Tell everyone better than you can tell them. Just do it. Just do it. We so country. Y'all, we from Panama City, Florida, Bay County. Well, Carla's from Jacksonville. She's from Jacksonville. She's from Jacksonville. So, so this skirt, I've kept it for years. This is like my weight loss skirt. But also, I like how it looks in my closet. I like to keep certain things in my closet because I like, I don't know. I just like that it just makes me happy. I already told him, call me a hoarder if you want to. I don't care because it's true. You hold on, hold on. We ain't gonna talk about hoarders. <laughs> I don't even want my, my clothes to come. We ain't gonna talk about hoarders. Karma had a whole storage, y'all. Whole storage unit. Full, full, full. And then she has a whole. Her stuff in Korea. Y'all, she had boxes. Boxes of clothes. Girl, I had 20 boxes of clothes. 20. Clothes. That's in one place, though, because she got. Oh, sorry, Sicky. Storage too, and then I got clothes here at my place now. Y'all, all the stuff I carry with me, y'all, all the stuff I mailed to Clorinda. It runs in the family, apparently. So, Karma and I are I don't even know what to call it. We need some kind of nickname for us because we be doing the most, y'all. Like, oh my god, you'll see who. Y'all, we be hitting these streets. Y'all, we be out here. So she was in Korea for a year. She's in the army. And I was here and we would talk and stuff, but it was just hard because we on two different hemispheres. But we back, y'all. We back and we better. You know what? If I keep playing, I could wear this with some jeans. Oh, that yes. Or Girl, them pictures we got in Miami with that dress. Because I it's a two piece. I could do like this with some jeans. I need to quit playing. This is what happens. You see that you have clothes. I don't need to buy clothes. See, you got to see. That's our issue. We think we got to buy new clothes for every time. For we every no, we thing. We got washing machines. We can recycle clothes. Exactly. We be over here like, oh, we got to meet. We having dinner oh, with my dad. Already. We having dinner <laughs> with my dad. Let me get a new outfit. So this set is from Fashion Nova. Um, I might put a picture of it here or something like that. I don't know. I don't know but this is the set um that kim card the green one that kim kardashian wore it's cute i give it 12 stars it actually like it's true to size i'm pretty sure i wore a size what let me see what size this is this is a size oh we still got tags on it oh my god that just don't make yeah. no sense i'm pretty sure i got a large yeah i think you did i think i got a large it was so cute though it's true to size it wasn't tight or anything the top was kind of tighter so it's true to size but the bottom's like more loose you can't wear no drawers with it so and then i got the kim kardashian kylie jenner birthday dress <laughs> y'all i have not girl yes i remember i wore it as a top you sure did i wore this color one weekend in miami like that was the only color i wore it was a thing and then karma wore like neon green this is we do stuff like that this. I'll never forget y'all. Y'all need to go on Instagram and look at her, her Miami thing. Cause there's a video in there and this girl was wearing pink and she was like, oh. So she got my color on. So she wanted to be me. So she wanted to be me. I was like so pressed thinking like that was my color. Like nobody, like nobody could wear pink. That was my color. Guys, I'm not going to have y'all watching me forever. We'll do a two part so I can finish my closet because I'm about to start getting dressed for my dad's birthday. But thank you for watching. If you like this type of video, please let me know in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up, you guys. We're almost at 100. 100 subscribers. Can you believe? So keep sharing with your friends. Keep doing what you do. I really appreciate it. And make sure you subscribe. I think it's going to come on this side. I can't ever tell because... It's reversed. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. You'll know every time I post. I post weekly on Sundays, sometimes twice a week. Stay tuned.
and yes thank you for watching bye